time we talked about the vast disparity between the AXS play to earn allocation versus what SkyMavis actually gives to the community in leaderboard rewards. Let's get into it. All right, so when we look at the actual token unlock allocations for the play to earn allocation, which you guys can see right over here under this column, we can see that the gaming issuance rewards, so far these amount of tokens have been unlocked. This gives us a total of 32,400,000 AXS has been unlocked for play to earn allocation so far. Now you might be wondering how much of that has actually been given out to players from leaderboard rewards over the past couple seasons. So I went ahead and counted up the total AXS from all these different seasons. You guys can see that right here, all these different seasons. Now AXS came out and first was given out for leaderboard rewards in season 14. Before that, there was a bunch of seasons where they gave out die, and then there were a couple different partnerships like with Ave. By the way, if you guys want access to this spreadsheet that I'm showing right now, I'm going to include the link in the description down below so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Now this totals to 403,713 AXS given out to players over these seasons. Now when we compare that with the number of tokens total unlocked, again we have 32,400,000, that's a measly 1.25% of the tokens that have been unlocked have actually been given to players during season rewards. This is really not good as players have been given under 2% of what the allocation unlock has been showing. You can see up here by the screenshot of Jiho's tweet that the year one AXS play to earn budget was 18,900,000 AXS or over $13 million at the time of his tweeting. He was talking about the play to earn revolution is coming. Now if you say something like in year one our budget to spend on marketing is $10 million, people are going to expect that you're going to be trying to spend the $10 million, not that you're going to spend 1% of that money. This is a big problem between the messaging and what they actually gave the players. And that's just not a good look. However, it gets much worse. Now I gave them the benefit of the doubt and assumed, okay, they gave the players 1.25% of the allocation. So I'm sure that the team also took a very small percentage of their allocation and they got almost no tokens, right? Now, unfortunately the blockchain doesn't lie. And this is where I would argue that things get potentially malicious on the team's behalf. So when you look at the Ronin Explorer, we can see right here, what I've pulled up is a wallet that's sending a lot of money consistently over to Binance. And you can see that by these amounts that are being sent, there's significant dollar value in this AXS that's being sent over to Binance. Now this is a wallet that I'm 95% confident belongs to PsychOut. And I went ahead and I totaled up how much is PsychOut sending from his wallet off the Rona network over to Binance? Because if you send money off the network to Binance, it's reasonable to assume that you're cashing out that money. There's really no other reason to move your AXS off the network where you could have staking and earn a substantial yield reward. It just doesn't make sense otherwise. So when I added up all the money that PsychOut has cashed out and sent over to Binance, we get 177 thousand AXS. This equates to over 40% of the amount of tokens that have been given to the community from season leaderboard rewards. This is massive. I mean, Psycho alone individually has moved and cashed out almost half of the amount that the total community has been rewarded from season leaderboards. That's a huge comparison. However, when we dive a little bit further, it gets even more questionable. When we look at more founders, let's look at a single distribution that went out to five different founders. Now here is a single distribution that went from a Axie Infinity or Sky Mavis controlled wallet over to five different founders, Trung, Masamunde, Jihos, potentially Andy and Psycho. Now this document is from a video I did a couple weeks ago exposing potential insider trading within Sky Mavis. And if you want to actually see this whole document and me talking about all this research I did, I'm going to include the link to that video at the end. So the next thing I did was tally up these five values of AXS to see how much in this single distribution went to the founders. And you guys can see the total right above me, 571,000 AXS went to the five founders in this single distribution to the founders. This is not their total token numbers. I want to make that very clear. They had an initial distribution when AXS went out. There was this distribution and then there's more distributions on the Ronin network. So they received way more than this total. This is just a single distribution going to the founders. Now this single distribution to these five founders equates to over 140% of the AXS total that has been given out to the community from season leaderboard rewards, which is just insane to me. Personally, I have no issue with people making a lot of money. I mean, this is millions of dollars worth of tokens. I don't see that as a problem. Now, what I do see as a problem is they're giving the community a measly 1.25% of the rewards that is allocated to the community. Now, when we look at the upcoming distributions, you can see those over here. We have right here, here's a year, right here, two years, three three years of AXS tokens being unlocked. So it's not like AXS tokens are just going to run out and stop coming anytime soon. There's a lot of AXS tokens yet to come, yet we've only been given 1.25% of what's supposed to be distributed. This is where I see Sky Mavis founders screwing the community over, looking out for their own bags, making sure that they get more than the entire community gets. I find it very hard to argue anything other than the founders looking out for their best interest at the sacrifice in the cost of the community members who get a measly 1.25% of the tokens that they are owed. 
If you guys found value in this video, be sure to check out this other video up here where I deep dive into potential insider trading on the behalf of Sky Mavis founders, where they protected their own value millions and millions of dollars when the community potentially lost everything.